Low-wage labor is the main source of income for billions of people in the developing world. The industries that employ them often operate in the shadows, avoiding taxes and ignoring regulations. CCTV's Frank Contreras found one such industry just outside of Mexico City. On a back road in the town of San Martin Cuautlalpan in the state of Mexico, workers operate the massive kilns at several clandestine brick-making companies. Employees say the clay here is perfect for producing high-quality bricks made the old-fashioned way. They work more than 12 hours a day, six days a week. For their labor, they earn the equivalent of about $400 a month. These men say they can carry up to 32 bricks each. The heavy lifting affects all the joints in their bodies. Rodillas. The knees, ankles, elbows, wrists. Why? Because our work is exhausting. The workers say they fuel their kilns with sawdust brought in from carpenter shops in Mexico City. Because of the clandestine nature of this business, government officials have shown up on occasion trying to shut them down, citing air pollution laws. Stopping this industry means hundreds of families would lose their main source of employment. They want to take away our ovens. Imagine that. Where will so many people find work? Studies show brick industries in the developing world cause air pollution and workers are prone to respiratory diseases. But these men are far too busy to worry about the environmental and health consequences of their work, which, up until now, has been a well-kept secret. Frank Contreras, CCTV, San Martin, Cuauhtlalpan, Mexico.